I'm going to say this. The interesting thing is because, um, you know, there are these life passages that you experience. And, uh, and one of the things is, um, this is, I th- is this the first announcement? This is the first announcement of a baby that we, we've had here, right? Yeah. This is yeah. The first baby since we've been yeah. Since, uh, since I've been uh, the congregational leader, this is the first baby announcement. Uh, we've had a few weddings. We had your wedding, which was wonderful. Uh, and we've had uh, funerals, too. Funerals, though, it's, it's great, though, because when you do a funeral, it's always sad because we realize that there's something off when there's, when there's death because we know that we're supposed to live forever. You know? and, but we can, we can rest in knowing that those people that passed on are with the Lord. This is special, though, because there's a new soul that we're going to meet. So um, here, I'm going to give you this. Did you want to go ahead and say something to start us out? I was going to see if Rabbi Ned would come up and join us, too, just because he's the papa of this community. Um, I don't know which one to use. What do we got here? We got, and I've got we knee got glasses. Spike Nard is good. Do okay. Okay. Father God, we ask your blessing over this couple as they are entering into this um, wonderful new stage of their covenant together. It is a covenant with you, Lord. We know there's a blessing that pours out from coming into this um, blessed marriage uh, to know that uh, life can come as this blessing, a new soul. Lord, we pray for uh, every physical need. We pray for uh, Alana and her health. We pray for all provision. We pray for finances, Lord. And we uh, look at this, uh, uh, the the beautiful result, the beautiful fruit of covenant, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that uh, everything can be prepared in the spirit, Lord. That the the home uh, will be prepared uh, to welcome this new baby. Um, whether it's a boy or a girl, we know that it will be love. We, uh, the prayer will be for a healthy baby uh, that they can raise to be a disciple of Yeshua. So, Lord, we just ask uh, for every blessing on this couple uh, as they encounter this a wonderful time of preparation. But, Lord, it is a time of excitement. Uh, it is a time of hope. Uh, and, Lord, it is uh, a time where they can rest in you. Uh, you are our Father, and you are Love this baby uh, more than any of us, more than this couple can even, uh, for all eternity. Standing here, I'm I'm just reminded (laughs) that, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but um, it wasn't until the 18th century uh, when Jews and mass came to America that as a people group, they began to recognize birthdays and uh, the birth, whole, whole celebration of births. Is because in the, in the Hebrew Bible, as, as far as I understand, there's only one recognition of a birth date, and that was Pharaoh's. <laughs> so it's not, it wasn't something big. And the idea was, in, in Jewish understanding, as far as I, I know, and very limited, that when someone is born, uh, it's kind of a blank slate. It's, a baby is just is full potential. And you don't know how that baby's going to turn out. So according to the, some rabbinic sources, some, not all, it's a little premature to celebrate if we don't know how the person is going to turn out. So what they do instead is they recognize the death, the art site, right, the, the year's anniversary of the death, because they can look back and see what that life have d- had done and how they, how they have impacted the world around them and lived, uh, as Dan was like, a, a foundational Torah life. However, with all that said... <laughs> We, we think of this baby as a great blessing, and we speak over it, Father, the fact that this would, uh, this would not be premature to say, but this would be a life that is given and dedicated to you. And that e- even, uh, you know, I think of Luke chapters 1, uh, when Zachariah and Elizabeth, you know, prayed over the baby, and Anna uh, prayed over the baby, Father. So we, we just... Um, we, we just uh, uh, look to you, Father, and ask that this life would really matter. God would really impact uh, the world around them, uh, would come to know the Lord early, 
and avoid making the mistakes of life, the pitfalls of life, and with full of energy and full of life, be able to serve you and bless and honor their parents, Father. Make them proud, and we ask this in Yeshua's name. Amen. This is like what it's all about, you know, right here. This family, this baby, community. Lord God, the blessing of new life. And I just remember um, having my babies in this community and the love that surrounded me, God. Lord, I just lift up Alana to you right now, Lord. She's a vessel to carry this little life. Lord, I pray protection over her body, Lord God. I pray that every problem that she's had in her health, Lord God, that even right now we just ask for healing. Lord, that there would be no fear in the name of Yeshua, but there will only be joy and shalom over Alana as she welcomes this little life into her body. Lord, and as this baby grows, Lord God, we thank you that this baby, even right now, is being knit, Lord, by your hands in the hidden places within Alana. And this baby has a destiny. You know everything about this little one, Lord God. Lord, you can give these parents an understanding of who this little one is even in the womb and they can call forth this baby's destiny even in the womb so lord we just speak um life over alana and sam and the girls and this child we say lord that you are good you are faithful lord and lord this is the next step for them so lord we just pray protection over them protection over what you're doing through them over their anointing lord god and especially over this baby we just bless this baby lord we bless this baby lord by the power of your ruach lord over this child may they grow up in the ancient way of your teachings lord to follow torah to follow you yeshua and we bless them as unto the hope lord god the great wonderful life for this child we say this in your name yeshua bashem yeshua amen amen does anybody else want to say anything how about this though i want to i want to before have the the big sisters come up too okay big sisters you're, you're going to be the big sisters. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Are you? Uh, am, I, am I putting you on the spot? Okay. Okay. Here, come on. Come on. So, so we just ask a blessing over these soon to be. All three of you will be big sisters. Mm -hmm. So we just thank you, Lord, and just pray for the anointing. You know. We, um, just shalom and wisdom and maturity and just uh, even the, the desire to uh, just take this baby and say, not only are you part of our family, but you are going to uh, honor this wonderful family. It's like the, uh, it, it is the, the, the blessing of a blended family now to see that, that uh, these sisters can have a new baby brother or sister. Ask this in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, we keep him. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lord, we thank you for this couple too, God, and for their heart for to be grandparents, Lord. And we just thank you for what you're doing, Lord God, in this entire family and. Even, I'm not going to draw attention to Ben back there, but we thank you for everything you're doing in this family, Lord God. Such a, such a fun, beautiful time, and over Maxie as an aunt, Lord God, we just thank you for them. We pray that they can just fully be all, just made even closer as a family through this season, Lord, and they would just feel the full blessing of your goodness. In the name of Yeshua, amen. We were going to do aunts and uncles. <laughs> And then we were going to, we were debating how to address you, Vivica. So we, no, what's that? You can take him. Okay. Thank you. And we've had lots of prayers and lots of blessings. And we'll adjust for the service, but uh, uh, I'll keep the announcements to uh, a minimum.